short regimen, is non-inferior to, long regimen for, rifampin-resistant tuberculosis. Multidrug resistant, tuberculosis is on rise, as tuberculosis bacteria has, developed resistance to both, isoniazid and rifampin. Some studies have proved, the individual efficacy of short regimen, that is 9 to 11 months and a long regimen, that is 20 months for, multidrug resistant tuberculosis. The study was, performed to compare the efficacy of, short regimen with a long regimen, in patients with, rifampin resistant tuberculosis. Patients of, 18 years or, older with rifampin resistant, pulmonary tuberculosis, were included in the study. Patients who were, infected with a strain of mycobacterium tuberculosis, that was resistant to, a second line injectable drug, or fluoroquinolones, were excluded from the study. The non-inferior, randomized, phase 3 trail, included 424 patients, who were randomly divided, into two groups, 282 in short regimen group and 142 in long regimen group. The culture negative, for mycobacterium tuberculosis, at 132 weeks, was considered as the primary efficacy outcome. During the treatment, or follow-up period, the occurrence of, grade 3 or higher adverse events, was considered as the primary safety outcome. The primary efficacy, outcome of, short regimen was, non-inferior, to long regimen. The study results concluded that, a short regimen was non-inferior to, long regimen in terms of, primary efficacy outcome in patients who had rifampin-resistant, tuberculosis that was, susceptible to, fluoroquinolones and aminoglycosides, 